to welcome everybody to the final webinar in the online learning series. So I want to thank Anna Bergen from Hollister for coming here to talk about uh, stoma care. So I'm going to be handing it over to Anna and just a reminder that this is going to be recorded and available and sent to everybody who is signed up for today's session. So thank you very much, Anna. Are you ready for me to hand it over to you? I am, Katie. Thank you. I'm going to turn off my video now and mute myself. So thank you. Lovely. Thanks, Katie. So good morning, everybody. Um, I'd like to thank Katie and the SBHI Association of Ireland for the opportunity to speak to your members today. Uh, my, my name is Anna Bargan and um, I'm a senior stomach care nurse advisor working with, uh, working with Hollister. I've been working as a stomach care nurse for the past 18 years um, in both hospital and community settings. I look after those who've had a stoma formed and help them adjust to the care required to manage their stoma. I work for Hollister and we are a global company dedicated to the mission of making life more rewarding and dignified for all the people who use our products and services. We manufacture continents and stoma care products in multiple countries around the world, including Denmark, India, Lithuania, the United States, and here in Ireland. As you'll see in this photo, this is our plant, which is based in Ballina, and it employs 1,000 staff. Today, I would like to outline three main types of stomas, their management, and the importance of skin health in relation to product choice. I'd like to share with you a patient testimonial, but firstly, we'll have an overview of common continence issues relating to spina bifida and the management of these conditions. So in Ireland, approximately 40 babies each year are born with spina bifida. Spina bifida causes broken messages between the brain, the bladder and the bowel, and this results in a loss of sensation or sphincter control. Constipation, diarrhea and incontinence of varying degrees are seen in over 90% of individuals with spina bifida. This causes the inability to control the bowel and or the urine, causing leakage, which can lead to distress, embarrassment, sore and irritated skin. A neurogenic bladder is an umbrella term given to a number of urinary conditions in people who lack bladder control due to brain, spinal cord or nerve problems. These are frequency, which is the passing of urine more often than the norm, retention, which is the inability to completely or partially empty the bladder, Urgency describes an overwhelming need to get to the bathroom immediately. And finally, nocturia is the medical term for the excessive urination at night. So when we look at types of management for continence issues, we look at three main types. Firstly, conservative, then medical management, and finally, surgical management. So firstly, conservative management. Here, when we look at diet, we're talking about modifications in diet. For example, taking increased fiber in your diet will add bulk to the stool and make it easier to pass. Sources of fiber include fruit, vegetables, and whole meal or whole grain, breads and cereals. It is also recommended to have more fluids, especially water and non-calorific fluids. This will also soften the stool and help ease constipation. Rectal irrigation involves instilling warm tap water into the rectum via the anus and then allowing the water to be expelled, thus emptying the colon. Studies have shown that regular rectal irrigation can be an effective solution to prevent fecal incontinence and constipation. For best results, rectal irrigation should be performed regularly usually daily or every other day. CIC stands for clean intermittent catheterization. This is a method of draining urine via a catheter inserted into the urethra and into the bladder. Hollister have created the Vapro range of catheters which offer 100% no-touch protection. 
They have both a protective tip and sleeve. The tip helps shield the catheter from bacteria during insertion and it reduces the risk of carrying bacteria into the urinary tract. The protective sleeve provides a barrier to the catheter and ensures 100% no touch protection. The combination of protective tip and sleeve create a no touch system that is easy to use. The difference between indwelling catheter and intermittent is that an indwelling catheter is inserted in the same way as an intermittent catheter, but this catheter is left in place, usually for anything from between two to 12 weeks. And SP is one, is a catheter which is inserted directly into the abdomen and left in place, generally for four to eight weeks. There are a variety of oral medications which can be useful, including antibiotics, which may be given due to recurrent urinary tract infections. Patients may also be prescribed laxatives, stimulants, which can trigger muscles in the bowel to contract and cause a bowel movement, or stool softeners. Antidiarrheal medication may be required to slow down the movement of fluid through the bowel, making the stool less watery and rectal irrigation I mentioned earlier. Now, surgical management. Um, one can have a colostomy or an ileostomy formed. I will discuss these types of stomas later. So ACE procedure or anti-grade colonic enema is one in which the appendix is used to create a tube through which an enema or washout can be given. This small tube is used to make a tunnel from the outside of the abdomen to the large bowel. It allows the patient to do a total washout of the colon or the large bowel by flushing out the stool. This produces a bowel movement which is under the patient's control. This may be done daily or two to three times per week. Now, surgical management for the bladder can include the formation of a urostomy it's again a stoma, which I'll discuss later. You could have a metrophonic procedure. This is one in which the appendix is used to create a conduit or channel between the skin surface and the bladder, generally formed at the belly button or on the lower right side. An intermittent catheter is inserted every three to four hours and allows the urine to be drained. As the bladder fills, rising pressure compresses the channel against the bladder wall, creating a one-way valve that prevents leakage between intermittent catheterizations. And a vesicostomy, finally, is usually a temporary and reversible measure that is done to protect the kidneys from the underlying cause of the problem until that is corrected. A small opening is made in the bladder to the outside of the body which allows urine to drain onto the abdomen, and the urine usually drains directly into a nappy. So now the first of our stomas. A colostomy is a stoma which is formed from the large bowel or the colon. It's usually found on the left-hand side of the abdomen, but it can be formed at any part of the large bowel. The output from this type of stoma is a formed solid stool. If you are prone to constipation, you may still require laxative or laxatives or stool softeners as you may still get constipated. In the diagram here, you will see a closed pouch. Either you can use a one or a two piece and a closed pouch is sealed at the bottom as you see here in the picture. The diet you would require for a colostomy is generally unchanged from the normal diet. And now an ileostomy which is a stoma formed from the ileum or small bowel. It's usually found on the right-hand side. And the output from an ileostomy is a soft stool or liquid. This stoma protrudes. And the type of pouch you use is a drainable one, either a one or a two piece. You would generally change your pouch every two to three days, but you may like to change it daily. You would empty your pouch when it's half full. Our Hollister drainable pouches feature a lock and roll closure designed to be opened at the bottom when emptying. The integrated lock and roll micro seal closures 
utilizes plastic interlocking fasteners to create a secure closure at the bottom of the pouch. Pouches are available in convex, soft convex or flat. Initially, in the first six weeks post-operatively, you will require a low fiber diet. And after six weeks, you can generally return to a more normal diet, but your stomach care nurse and dietitian will give you further advice of foods to avoid. It is important to drink adequate fluids and generally advised to drink two liters per day. This will help avoid dehydration and aid digestion. And now a urostomy, which is a permanent stoma, a diversion of urine from the bladder onto the skin. Your stoma will be located on the right hand side of your tummy. The stoma will pass urine and some mucus. Specific pouches are worn. It can either be a one or a two piece. You may also like to attach leg bags and night drainage bags for larger capacity. Our pouches feature an ultra clear odor barrier pouch film. We recommend emptying your pouch when it's half full. Your ostomy pouches feature an anti-reflux valve and multiple built-in chambers, which are designed to facilitate the even distribution of urine. The new side tab design helps facilitate ease of use when connecting to a bedside night drainage system. The tap is made with soft material and a streamlined shape to help improve comfort against the body. We have tape and tape-free borders available. The importance of healthy skin cannot be understated. Healthy skin can mean a happier you. Simple practices can make a big difference. For example, get into the habit of cleaning your skin each time you change your pouch. Water is the first choice as wipes may contain fragrance or perfumes that may interfere with the skin barrier adhesion and irritate your skin. If you notice red, broken or moist skin around the stoma, contact your stoma care nurse. In relation to pouch security, it is important to have a skin barrier that fits well around your stoma as it helps protect your skin from being irritated or damaged by leakage. It's good to remember that the skin around your stoma should be the same as the skin anywhere else on your body. Our goal is to help you maintain healthy skin. So we have one and two piece pouches available. One piece system is one in which the adhesive barrier and the pouch are attached. They are available in closed, drainable or urostomy pouches. Pouches can be pre-cut or cut to fit. We can also arrange a free cutting service for any shape or size stoma. One piece pouches can be clear or soft cover with the window or viewing option which can aid the correct pouch placement. One piece pouches can be flat, soft convex or convex. When changing a one piece system, the pouch and the skin barrier are removed together. Then two piece systems are also available in closed, drainable or urostomy. Two piece systems are versatile as it includes a skin barrier and the pouch which are separate. The pouch can be ordered in a variety of sizes, mini, midi and maxi. This allows for more flexibility for the user as they can choose the size of pouch to wear that fits their needs. For example, one can prefer a larger pouch at night if one's stoma is more active overnight. The two-piece system allows you to change your pouch when your skin barrier stays in place on your body. This is a good choice for you if you want to change your pouch more frequently than your skin barrier, or if you're concerned that frequent skin barrier changes will cause irritation. Some of the unique features and benefits of Hollister pouches include our adhesive skin barrier. This is the most important part of your pouch as it protects your skin from stoma output and it keeps your pouch in place. Hollister pouches with adhesive border have incorporated added security 
for a fit which provides the simplicity of an all-in-one solution that's easy to use with no accessories needed. The adhesive border provides flexibility that moves with your body, stretching to adjust to your skin. Our filters allow for the slow release and deodorization of gas from the pouch, reducing air building up in your pouch. And our pouches also offer belt tabs, which permit easy attachment of a belt and can be added secure and give added security. It takes time to become comfortable with the stoma. How your stoma affects how you see your life and yourself is different for everyone. Some people can feel positively about their stomas and others not so. We are all different as our experiences are. There are support groups available where you can chat with others who are facing the same challenges. Discussing issues with someone who understands what you are experiencing can be beneficial. Whether it's a support group in your community or online, getting advice from people who've been there is a great way to boost your confidence. And now I have a skin health video which will describe the components of our pouches and how they are unique from other products. And I'm going to hand back then to Katie, who's going to show this video. Perfect, thank you. I'm just going to get up here now. After getting an ostomy, you have a lot of things on your mind. But is skin health one of them? The skin around your stoma is called peristomal skin and the health of the skin plays an important role in your comfort and overall well-being. Skin is made of many layers, and these layers include lipids between the cells called ceramides. Ceramides help hold skin cells together and help protect you against bacteria and environmental pollutants. Ceramides also help your skin retain a healthy level of moisture. Fewer ceramides are associated with dry, damaged skin. Even when you do everything right, simply removing your ostomy skin barrier takes some of the cells from the top layer of skin along with it, allowing more moisture to escape and leaving the skin vulnerable to damage. Sarah Plus Skin Barrier is infused with ceramide and designed to help protect your skin from the potential damage of skin barrier removal. Keeping your skin protected is part of maintaining good skin health which means better quality of life for you. Give the Sarah Plus Skin Barrier a try. The ostomy barrier designed to help the skin around your stoma stay healthy. Yeah, I'm just going to be presenter again there and I'm going to mute myself. Thanks, Katie. So I'd like to share with you now a patient testimonial of a lady I spoke to who has spina bifida and who had two stomas formed during her life. Uh, so this lady had her first stoma when she was only seven years old. She had a urostomy formed and she had this done because she was getting recurrent urinary tract infections and she was wearing pads. She remembers her parents learning how to do the stoma care and then herself getting involved. As she got older, she still had problems with her bowels. And although at home in her house, she didn't need to wear any pads, but she would if she had to leave the house and she would always have to wear a pad going to bed. She had little or no control and she got to the stage where she said she'd had enough. So after her surgery, she said it was weird at first and then it got easier. She said, you will be taught how to do your care, but then you find your own way, what's convenient for you, little hints and tricks that work better for you. She said she found that keeping her skin in good condition was really important and not wearing any pads was a benefit and she found the bags were easier to empty. Our Hollister nurses are available throughout the country. And to contact us, Anna, um, just to just before you move on there, and um, the screen isn't sharing. 
So if you wanted to just um, square whatever you have on the screen there. Okay. Hang on. Okay. We'll just Apologies for interrupting you. So let's just um, hang on. So let's wait a moment now. And if I go back into. So to share my screen, do you need to send, do you need to do, allow me to oh, start sharing? Hang on, everybody, be, be patient, share. Do we have this now? I can see it again there, sorry. Okay, yeah. okay. so, oh, I, what I'll do is I will go back because I think you might have missed a couple of slides. Did we miss all these, Katie? We heard you, but we missed the actual writing of them, but we heard so we heard the case. Okay, okay. So so this was the the lady I spoke to with spina bifida and how she felt. She was miserable before her, her surgery and she felt that her stoma was her, her only option after 30 years of having incontinence of her bowels. And she felt she was a happier person in the end because she didn't have to wear her pads. So it was a positive story for her. So to contact us, our stoma nurses are available throughout the country. And to get in contact with us, you can ring our free phone number, which is on screen 1-800-503-400. You can email us at customerservices.ie at hollister.com. Uh, you can contact our Association of Irish Stoma Care Nurses where you get more information on stomas, diet, travel um, and how to get in contact maybe with your local stoma nurse. Um, and here if you see this link, Hollister have their own web page where we have ostomy guides product information, accessory information, and step-by-step -step videos, which you may find useful. Um, you can also follow us on the following platforms, Facebook, et cetera, um, or you can contact, um, contact us directly. So now, any questions, I'd be happy to take them. Thank you very, very much for that, Anna. Um, just open it up there. The question and answer section is open. So um, anybody have any questions? Now is your time to ask. Thank you. Yeah, no, no questions so far. So that's no problem at all. Um, and as I mentioned before, this uh, this session is oh yeah sorry question popped in there. Yeah. Um, are all Hollister ostomy products latex free? Yes, they are. Yes, um, they are latex free. Um, but if you wanted to do a skin allergy test with them, if you had um, difficulties with skin allergies and latex, and you wanted to do an allergy test, you could easily do that we could arrange uh, you to try the product maybe on you know on your arm on the other side of your abdomen just to make sure you'd be happy with the adhesive brilliant yeah brilliant thank you very much for that and very good yeah. question yeah yeah okay and um, yeah. just as i'm about to say something as a yeah the the answer there was great thanks great uh, thanks very much for that lovely yeah. Perfect. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in today, taking time out of their busy pre-Christmas schedule. It's a very busy time of year, so it's um it's a pleasure to be able to reach out and contact people like this. Thanks, Katie, for the opportunity. And thank you very much. You spoke really well. It was interesting. So thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. Now the online learning series is not back again until late January. And we will be putting up a post with uh, the next sessions um, in, in due course. So thank you very much for, um, for attending today and for listening to the presentation. And thank you so much, Anna, for the presentation. We very much appreciate it That's and appreciate um, Hollister giving their time and their staff to um, come along to this session as well. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, Casey, and take care and happy Christmas. Happy Christmas yeah. to all.
Absolutely. Bye. Happy Christmas, everybody. Christmas, everyone. Bye.